Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John V. Everdo here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. We are out here. We are chilling. I'm going to turn up my game. Because it is an episode where I am being very quiet. Because, oh, you guys can't even see what time it is. Yas, it's two in the morning. Um, Because... I have had absolutely no time to record today. Let's, I'm going to be 100% honest. Today was probably the, if not 100, no, not probably. It was most definitely the busiest day that I think I've ever had with necessary stuff. Because, you know, sometimes I can fluff up my day by, like, doing things that are completely unnecessary and things that I don't need to take care of. No. So, today was not that day, and it was like, bruh, can we just get on with the show already? It was literally how today felt. It, best way to put it. Um, we got curious. Um, same moveset. Honestly, I don't think anybody changed movesets. I'm going to go through them kind of, not quickly, but like enough to where it's like, okay, I see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I believe everybody kind of stayed static. Yeah. Everybody stayed static. Okay. You know what? I don't mind that. I know it was only like a two level increase. So like, duh, everybody stayed static, John. It's almost like it's only two levels. It's like, yeah, I get it. I really don't need to be reminded that the rain's going to come. <laughs> Game. Why? I mean, to be honest, though, it's not even that bad. I, I don't mind the rain. I If I did, if I minded the rain, I wouldn't live in Washington. But that's besides the point. But yeah, today, today has been one hectic day. Um, so I woke up this morning, right, as one does. Oh wait, how do I, how do I organize my bag? Uh, I think it's this, this. It is okay. Um, so yeah, I woke up this morning, and it really, when I say morning, I well, uh, it was earlier than normal. I woke up at nine thirty. Um, uh, usually it's ten. So you know what? That's proud i got a little bit of time to kind of wake up get myself ready um to then go to my first ever well not first ever um first in many years in-person class because i've had to take an in-person class this quarter and it was just the way that that ended up working out or whatever like it was ridiculous and it's thrown an entire wrench in my preparation schedule but it's fine uh definitely was not ready for that but 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 but, but, but i get front of the class eye candy which is great and definitely not me being crazy definitely not I honestly just need to fix that problem but like okay let's be real let's be real though like being the person who likes to get my if I'm at work slash like if I'm work is work and play is play that mentality does not help you in the slightest when you're trying to meet people like oh my god like because everywhere you can literally just make the excuse that work is work literally everywhere and i have a bad habit of that where i'm just like oh i'm at school so schools work so therefore i don't have to talk to people and deal with people and it's just like really and then it's like actual work is actual work so i don't have to deal with people but i can just sit there and literally fantasize about like the 800 people like okay okay it's not really 800 i mean it's a lot but um Still, though, it's just ridiculous that way. Like, instead of you know actually being like, "Hey, I think you're attractive," blah blah blah. No, nope, can't do that. Not at all. Not in any environment because it's fine. Uh, now, mind you, again, it would be weird to be like, "Oh, I find you attractive," and you have a ring on, so you're definitely married. Like, no, that that's not who I am. I'm not going to do that. Now, for the people that don't have a ring, I need to get better at it. Ooh. Also, can we talk about how Adino is actually taking hits like a champ right now? That's like not okay. But yeah, but literally, like I need to get better at that because honestly, so many things would be different if I was better at that and actually just decided to do my own thing. Also, that was a lot of 
experience. Excuse me, Adino. I didn't want you to almost nullify Curious's ability to do things. Okay. I guess I'm glad I have Curious as the lead. <laughs> um, protein. Oh, uh, I guess I'll use a fresh water. It's oh, it's 50 points. It's the same as a super potion. It's cheaper. Cheaper, more expendable. We'll use it. Um. So yeah, it's just funny. Like I just I need to get better at that. And honestly, I don't know how personally to get better at that. But you know what? We will kind of figure out how. Because I kind of have to. That's how life works. Um. But I don't know. It's just it's like the question of am I really interested in such thing or am I just allowing or thinking that I'm interested in such thing like in being in a relationship because it takes a lot of work and a lot of commitment like I'm not scared of it at all like that's not the thing that I'm worried about it's more of a lack of trust that's the best way to put it because like I'm not worried about my like my own self I'm never am. I'm, again, not surprised that I'm not worried about me, but I'm worried about how other people react to things. <sighs> Anyways, this is John 2 o'clock tangents, and Brain has been cycling for quite a long time, just, like, pretending that it won't kill. We're fine. Uh, <laughs> pretending that we're fine uh, when we're really not and worried about, like, 800 different things that we don't need to worry about. Perfect. Great example. Um, but yeah. So anyway, I had my first in-person class in like three plus years, maybe even more than that. It's been a long time. So, ooh, that's a toughie. It's been a long time. So I, it's weird for me to be back in person and doing like an in-person thing. Um, but then I sat back and realized exactly why I hate in-person classes. Like, one, John can't read when that's, that's a scissor, not sight of the entire time. Um, which actually is a way freaking worse for us because I don't see it easy way to do damage against a Scyther except for going into Siren and using Siren at a tough spot. <laughs> but, it's... Oh, I know a way. Okay, never mind. I figured out a way as long as I don't take a lot of damage, which I won't because that's a Metal Claw. It's like, yeah, we're fine. So, I look at that and what I see is... Okay, like, in-person classes, I gotta do it. I gotta do what I gotta do. It's not like I have a choice. Because... I passed the tests, did everything I needed to, and then it's just like, oh, by the way, this is the only one that's available. And I'm just like, really? Is literally what my brain was like. Because, again, I like being open and available for work since I work full-time and full-time college, or full-time college, and then also on the side do YouTube. It's like, I have a lot of things that, like, I have personally... I haven't, we haven't seen an AI do that before, actually, halfway, where they swap out because I'm using Giga Drain. The AI just made a play, and I don't know how to feel about that, because I'm like, AI, you don't have to make these plays. Hypno didn't have anything bad for Curious, I don't recall. We're fine. Uh, we should be okay. Because, so yeah, so anyways. I forgot where I was at. Um, were we talking about, we were talking about college, that's all, oh yeah, so the, the college is like, oh, it's the only one, it's available, it's the 11, uh, an 11 to 11 50 class, which of course, like I said, I like to keep myself open and available for work since I work full time, do college for full time, um, and then, you know, do YouTube, and I want to make sure that I keep up on all three things. Especially, and, and, of course, do my other supplementary things that I do. <sighs> so. That happens. I'm like, whatever. I got to sacrifice work. Work's going to go down. It's fine. 
I get myself situated. I leave 12 minutes early. And, you know, you would think, oh, that's 12 minutes early. It's like, it's whatever, right? Like, you're preparing yourself. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was preparing myself, giving myself ample time to do things so that I didn't feel like I was in a rush at all. Because being in a rush sucks. And the amount of times that I've been in rushes because not, not because I'm not leaving early enough. Well, yeah, primarily because I'm leaving just fine. And then there's traffic or something goes wrong. Like, and even if you're leaving yourself so much time, like sometimes you'll leave. I don't know if you guys have that the phenomena, um, where you leave yourself way, way more time than you need. Right. And then massive traffic hits every problem in the world arises and then if you actually would have left on time like then you would have been fine and not getting caught in that traffic and got there at the same time it's like bruh it's so annoying when that happens and you're just like what's the point in being prepared what's the point in even wanting to try um but furthering on that situation i don't i don't know this puzzle very well okay so yeah, so it's like you do that and you're like, bruh, this is actually annoying. Like, why does this why did that have to be the case? Oh wait. This is gonna bring me up a level. What that didn't help me at all. Um, excuse me. I think we figured it out though. So yeah, so you're just like, why? What's the point in even trying harder? Like, there sh really isn't any, and it's very big blah moments and so you know you do your thing it's whatever you get so i got there early like i said and like the parking was absolutely garbage like there was no parking available in the general parking facilities or facilities and it was just like okay and it's not even like they don't have parking like the fact that they don't have parking isn't the issue I th if I were to say what I feel the issue is, is that you have the option of two things. You have the option of paid parking where you pay $5 a fucking day to park or you have general parking, which is free. What freaking college student's gonna like that is paying for their own and doing their own thing is gonna willingly give up five dollars a day for a quarter? I sure as hell won't because tuition and book costs and a whole bunch of other things are way expensive, as is literally two classes is freaking 1300 bucks it's like there i'm not spending or not going to spend another 200 plus dollars on freaking parking so no um and again what college student is going to do that like <laughs> the other option and other plausibility is the shuttle which the shuttle leaves every 15 minutes that and it gets you back every 15 minutes like it's not a bad option i will i i, I would debate it on trying that but again it's like seven minutes there it's it's a whole mess okay it's absolutely a mess but you kind of sit here and i got saved i clicked i keep i don't know why i do this where i click night slash and then it just doesn't matter because it's literally slashes same base power plus stab and is in this game what the only thing it's better against is ghost so why i click night slash i don't freaking know so <clears throat> i get myself parked um and by this time it's like 10 58 and i'm just like i got two minutes to get to class and Again, I left 12 minutes early, or than I would have needed to to get to Green River on time. It's like, OK, 
okay, whatever, fine, deal with it, you know, like, I guess I could have left even earlier, because, of course, so, um, you know, we just chill, we, I'm doing my thing, and, oh, wait, this is, I literally went in a freaking circle, that, okay, that's my fault, <laughs> I'm, I'm ranting about college, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be prone to going in circles, um, so yeah, so you do your thing, and it, you look at it, and you're just like, okay, then figure out what you're going to want to do, how you're going to want to do it. So I get to class, um, and my instructor is amazing, okay? Like, not that I've already insinuated and talked about that literally already, but I do like my instructor a lot, which is great. Um, it is lovely when you get an instructor that's, like, likable and nice and all that stuff so we get into it and we are figuring out math because uh, it's a math class and it's just like okay so it's math class we're doing it we're doing what we need to do to do well in the class that's great well the first session was literally now mind you keep in mind i got placed in into the class a day late, right? Because of the whole shenanigans, everything that was going on. The first in-person class was literally to a T, a less explained version of the video that was posted yesterday. So my whole time right was like breath okay whatever like and I get it on like I said on the instructors and I get it you kind of have to talk about that kind of stuff right because in an in-person setting like I got no fault on the instructor because that's what you have to do that's his job my <laughs> My what the frick is more like, I get that's your job, but we're in a college and that shouldn't be part of your job. Even though it is, it makes no sense to lecture, if you would call it that, about how to work the website that the college has been using for over five years at least. No point. Like, anyways. So that, the whole entire lecture was that and this is what we're doing in person and this is what we're doing or what you do online. Basically, long story short, online is homework, all the lectures, everything that you would go into a class and do online. Tuesdays and Thursdays, in-person activities. Because they had to fill the time for the class. And then tests, which... Not gonna lie, I 100% agree that some Monferno is coming out. That's actually kind of a problem. I 100% agree with tests being in person because um, it's so easy to manipulate on tests and do that kind of stuff online. It's kind of sad how easy it is. And of course, the reason that I know is because I'm in IT, we learn about that stuff. But we have our computers, like, and only the screens monitored during certain tests when I do my online classes. So, great. Lovely. I actually, again, I'm fine with that. But. It's like, what's the point coming in? Except for the, the boost in attendance, you have to put it in the great... <laughs> just a mess okay so then you know we're figuring this out so I go to 
rent out because the thing that there is is they're like renting out a um, graphing calculator, right? And you know, because I don't need your standard graphing. Like, I don't need a lot of like I don't. I, don't, I got rid. Of, I must have gotten rid of my graphing calculator. That's my only thought process. Like, I had to have gotten rid of it because why in the world do I not have it is beyond me so yeah so we have that and we do our thing there and it's just like again it's another one of those just mere like WTF situations also speaking of it oh it's okay no it's this that I already took right because that leads me to there everything unless so yeah so yeah so anyway I need a graphing calculator for my class which again makes total sense because it is a math class like it, if you didn't have a graphing calculator that would be bad so I go to go get that graphing calculator because again it's important and like it in the syllabus says it is necessary for the class okay again perfectly fine not a problem like I will pay the $20 to rent out a graphing calculator for the three months considering it's gonna be my only class in which I need a graphing calculator that I've ever had to take in these five years no reason to spend like a hundred dollars on a graphing calculator great option to present to your students like all fine and dandy so i go there and mind you it is 11 55 so it is a little bit on the like cutting it close but again my class ends at 11 50 so the fact that i got up and we got out a couple minutes late so that was the first thing i went there to do and then, what do you know, you freaking, it's, this is closed, come back later. Okay. So, the thing that I need is closed, because they want it to be closed, because bureaucracy is the best, and... You're just like, bro, okay. And then they're like, oh, they're over on the other side. The other side is, like, there's things going on on the other side right now. So, like, that's where I would get my information. Went to the other side with, an, like, another student. Because uh, there was other students that had been waiting there previously. <laughs> Went to the other side. And me and the other students were literally laughing and, like because they weren't on the other side either. So these people sent us to the other side and it said it was open and nobody was there. I was very irritated. So, of course, it takes me a bit to get out of the parking lot and then we get home. Like I have 45 minutes before I have to go to work. And, <clears throat> of course, you know, it's work. It, we all know I work and work full-time and everything's. We try and make everything okay, do everything it needs to, and yada, yada, yada. So, I think we found the way. That seems right. Yes, we did. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, it's like, okay, we're fine. We're going to do our thing. And I make my eggs because I actually had enough time to make breakfast eat breakfast, finish breakfast, everything's all done at this point, and I go to leave my house, I left my freaking wallet um, in the car, didn't even know that, I was freaking out trying to find my wallet, and I was like, bet you it's in the car, <sighs> sure, sh shuffling, it was in the car, so... I was like, bro, I left it. And then, of course, I brought my water bottle. I was going to fill it up before work. It's fine. It's chill. And it was like, okay, 
we'll make this work. We'll do whatever we need to to make it work because I'm just, at this point, just <laughs> figuring things out and just kind of dealing with what we have to. So, fine and dandy. We figure it out. I like, get to work. Literally, I forgot to bring my water bottle inside. I'm like, oh my god. It's one of these kind of days, isn't it? I'm a scatterbrained, as uh, people would say. And so I forget it, whatever, it's fine, I'll deal with it. Get a late lunch. Or get a late break too, technically. Um, I got both of them late, and I was like, whatever, at least I got them, which is good. Oh, three minutes on one. You're gonna heal, aren't you? Yeah. Here's the thing, Lopany can't even put pressure on this fracture. So I've gotta heal again. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, so it's fine, we're, we're okay. And then, ooh. Super potions are actually kind of useless right now. So, yeah, we're, we're figuring it out. We're doing our thing, and it's just, like, come on kind of feeling. Well, we got enough of a water bottle. So I got my water bottle, brought my water bottle inside after my lunch. In which I had, a, like, one of those just, like, this is taking forever experiences, like, and I didn't really care at the point in time, but... We did it. We we took care of things. Things things were taken care of effectively. We got it, and I came back in, forgot my freaking wallet again. This time, like in both times, it was in the same spot because I keep my stuff in the same spot every single time, which don't get me wrong, very beneficial because <laughs> you know that if you don't have it with you, you know exactly where it is. So I highly recommend uh, <laughs> doing that um, and keeping your stuff locked away in the same spot. Um, so yeah, so we did that, and it's fine. That is not the Mon that we need to be facing right now. I have to go into Siren because Siren's the only one that doesn't get absolutely shredded. Okay. So, anyways, we did that, we figured that, I got my wallet, but then... I went to help my coworker out by completing a task that she had, like, had to leave because, well, things decided to happen as they do in the most inopportune times today. So I, again, void fill, finish her task, forget my water bottle, where the task was being done. Like... I might again scatter brained to no end. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Thank goodness Eevee like came in clutch because we would have freaking died otherwise. Um, yeah, so we took care of our thing, we did what we needed to do. Ow. And so yeah, we did it. We did the things that we were, were expected and needed. So again, so she was nice. She got my water bottle, and then I went and I was like, I'm just gonna go to my car and grab my wallet because I forgot that. <laughs> Whatever, fine. So and then I changed um, my availability because well, my availability needs to be changed now because school is in the way of my completely open availability. <sighs> so of course, well, the way that I. I'm waiting tomorrow for them to be like, are you actually only available Tuesdays and Thursdays? And I'm like, no, I just reported the changes to my availability. And I even put in a note, this really only affects Tuesday because Thursday is my closing day, regardless. So hopefully putting that note there is gonna be like, oh, it's just reflective of changes. But I left my freaking water bottle in the office, like, so it'll probably be gone tomorrow, and I'll be sad because my I love that water bottle, but I forgot it in four different places today. It's like, John Brain is just non-existent. So anyways, I come back and have to do homework because, of course, yesterday you know, I got in the class at like 5.30. It didn't report in my class things until today because everybody's off the out of it. So I did the, the quizzes and caught up with yesterday's stuff and did today's stuff. And it's already ten, it was already like 10.30, 10.45 at that point. Then, 
because of course we got home at like at night and I closed so 9 30 10 so when I would get home did an hour's worth of, or 40 30 40 minutes to an hour's worth of homework took a shower got myself some dinner got that sorted because again I didn't have dinner at that point <laughs> like um while eating dinner I did watch Ryan and Frank's uh final fight versus uh Tobin and Keyshawn and I won't spoil it, but it's it's a performance. Could be good, could be bad. You'll figure that out. Because honestly, it, it was it was an interesting cage match to say the least. Um, loved seeing some of the Pokemon that shined shine because I feel like some of these Pokemon are completely underrated and don't get enough screen time and screen share because they get overlooked by just everything um so yeah it was good to see that but um i think that was my favorite part is seeing a specific mon um and you if you watch my channel enough you'll know exactly what mon i was super excited about but yeah so the other thing is there's one thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead uh, you know how I told you guys, and since it's already 30 minutes into the video, because I actually was slow and talked and had a coherent conversation, kind of. Uh, I don't know how coherent it is. It's 2.30 in the morning, so it could sound coherent and be totally not. But I didn't have to do editing in this episode, so that's cool. Um, nothing died. Um, speaking of nothing dying, back to the point that I was talking about. I kind of... I kind of... I'm going to do the Pokemon World Tournament off-screen. The reason I decided such was because, well, I said it once, and I'm going to say it again. It literally doesn't count. I will literally preface it in the next episode anyway, that, hey, we took care of this because it didn't count towards this luck anyways. And so the team will most likely look a little bit different because the, I have access to the move relearner, and I have access to the... Um, move deleter because i have access to both of them i might as well double check and see what can happen um particularly on the move deleter front i'm not really worried about the move relearner at this point that that to me feels like a little bit more of something i can do on screen but i'm not 100 sure yet we'll figure it out as it goes it could literally be pointless and again i mean there's always editing if i really wanted to do that but as i'm literally explaining my schedule was absolutely a mess on tuesdays and thursdays so do i really want to do that anyways <laughs> back to the point um yeah we'll see you guys in the next episode of saga log episode 186 crazy enough um which does mean that we will be getting to probably um Lacanosa Town or something of that area. Definitely not getting to Drake beforehand. So votes and everything are pretty much sealed. Speaking of votes, I need to remember a specific thing with votes because that will be a very big determining factor in what's going on. Thank you for the reminder. Love you all. <laughs> See you next episode, I guess, when I'm less tired and I'm a lot more coherent. Bye.